Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Rome to Total War. And with this Caesar in Gaul campaign, and then the mod which is Gods of War, it's on the workshop. Uh, probably not going to do that entire thing for every intro, but just getting it out there. Um, as of now, I actually released the first episode, and I got a really good response for it compared to say some of the newer games that I've played that failed like um, Warhammer and um, the Chinese one, Three Kingdoms. Anyways, um, not going on about that, we're gonna just recap what happened last time. So last time Caesar moved out and it took care of the last of the Helvetii uh, in our territory. They were laying siege somewhere here but their that army died so the Helvetii are gone. Uh, and then I also showed you guys the siege down here, where, um, let's see what this guy's called. Something. D don't need to worry about him. First Legion, anyway. Um, First Legion Gallica, so I mean, the First Legion of Gaul, I guess. Um, led by Lucius Regalius. There we go. So they won that battle. Oh, I just realized there's, a, there's an army over here. It's the Volocanti. And they are, as they are, they are Volocanti. Um, right, <laughs> uh, so that's what we showed last time around. This time around, um, we have progressed. So as you remember, I moved Caesar down to replenish, but for some reason he wasn't replenishing his troops in this region. I'm not entirely sure if it's due to like the populace was still barbar considered barbarian or something, like we couldn't actually recruit from there and then I moved back into my own territory to uh, uh, start recruiting and as I did that um, more and more of the German invasion were coming on. So we've got the Subii uh, which are coming on pretty strong with armies going down uh, into Gaul and they're coming in towards our territory a lot. So as Caesar was marching down here, um, a Subii army turned up over here. I f my first response was to move Caesar to the bridge to um, hold that, but the uh, German army didn't move forward, so I decided, you know what, we're gonna strike them, and also, if we strike them out, they will probably clear the way to actually take this territory, which is one of my current objectives, if we go through here. So, uh, secure Helvetia, and I think there's... secure Helvetia and control three provinces, so I'll two birds with one stone if I take that territory. So I decided, you know what, we're gonna go bold. We're gonna go at this uh, German army. It's only one stack. Uh, Caesar should be able we to handle it now and his army is pretty strong. I move up. Oh shit, there's another one that was hiding in the deep forest that turned up. So now there's two of them. And I That's could run back and like set up my defense in town or back at the bridge. But I decided, you know what? No, we're not gonna run from these barbarians. So instead I struck camp. So we made a little fort here at the, um, at the foot of the mountains and I expect the barbarian attack by, I don't know how many thousands of barbarians are gonna come there. Uh, but hopefully we'll smite them and then we can march off into the, this territory. And right now we've also got these guys, which seems a little bit more, it seems like a little bit of a more tougher army than this one. This one seems to have a little bit more levy troops. This one is almost entirely longsword masters, which is probably a pretty good, pretty good unit. Melee attack 80 and then melee defense 50. 57, which is very much comparable. They have a higher attack than our legions, then, but not as much defense. Um, so, but I think Mark Anthony can hold on to the walls. 
Right now, one of the problems I have is the economy side. As we can see, I'm only making about 3,000 a turn, which isn't that great. And also, I'm starting to get a banditry problem in this region, and I don't really know how to deal with that. I imagine what I have to do is buildings. But I'm kind of hoping that maybe there's an agent or something that you can deal with that because oh, I guess I guess if I moved an army there but the thing is I don't want to raise an entire legion just to keep a few barbarian a few bandits in line um, so you kind of get an idea of what's going on right now and then diplomatically we're actually doing pretty well with the uh, Golic tribes as as of the moment the Averni is happy with us the um, whatever these guys are called Owner, the Albrogas, the Albrogas, and the Volacanti. Uh, the Volacanti is expansionist and treacherous, so even though we're at good terms with them, we need to keep an eye on them. And as we saw, Massilia, Massiliana, declared war on them, but they actually lost that war, and so now the Volacanti hold a pretty sizable territory there. And obviously, I kind of want to take this so I can. Um, have a straight line going in between my territory so it's not split like this because this territory is really vulnerable vulnerable like that um, I wish also kind of I don't know if there would be like they could have done a small smaller like Roman regions you could trade with just to get a little bit extra trade because once I take this this my sea trade routes are not gonna be that useful um, Right, and I think everyone remembers kinda the overall goals. So the overall goals is to capture a big part of um, Gaul, and so by the uh, by the scenario, I think it goes. There's a few there's a few regions kind of, but it doesn't it doesn't include the entire thing, and it doesn't certainly include stuff up here. It's kind of like. Something like that that we need to take. Definitely destroy the Averni and a few things. Well, it's not specifically said to destroy the Averni. And also, it's fine with subjugated tribes as well. So I don't need to like paint the map Roman, even though it's probably the easiest. Um, but that's um, because my legions or my cohorts are so expensive to recruit. It might very well be very efficient to have some of these tribes on my side fighting alongside me Commander. and that's also when I realized down here in Narbo um, that you know I wasn't gonna be able to well first of all I can't recruit any tr proper troops here um, so I could recruit these um, fresh Celtic fresh spearmen they're very fresh and so these cost actually quite a lot and um, 2,000. You think 2,000 is a lot? I actually um, went for a technology recently that reduced, I believe, auxiliary units by 50%. So that unit still would have cost me before, before, would have cost me twice that, so 4,400. Not as much as a cohort of the Legionnaires, but still, it's only about a difference of a thousand, thousand dinars. But with that said, I, I think we're all, I'm, I've kind of wrapped it together. I was a little, I was for myself a little bit all over the place, because, I mean, I took this and then I didn't really have a strategy where to go next, but I, I, I kind of feel that now. And so, um, yeah, we're most likely going to have our battle here, which is going to be a rather large one, because we've got two full stacks of Germanic tribesmen coming down from the hills to take on Gaius Julius Caesar. And with that said, is it Gaius Julius Caesar? Gaius Lucius Caesar. With that said, let's go ahead and end turn and fight these barbarians. Oh, what's this? Um, the following concerns remain. The character has an un... Curtis Ocella. A character? Then who is this guy then? That I newly recruited, yes. 
I decided to get a champion from Caesar's army, and I decided to go for one that specifically goes toward martial arts to increase the experience of the units. Because we're not gonna have, we're not gonna outnumber the barbarians, but we're certainly gonna outskill the barbarians. Each of my cohorts is gonna be worth ten of the enemies, so that's why we're gonna go for that. Um, I don't know which one of these drill sergeant. Forty experience per unit. You know what? That's precisely what I want—a drill sergeant to join in. Uh, a veteran, a what's it called? The Avocati to join in. And uh, yes, now we'll enter. Ah, uh, I, <laughs> I, interesting how I talked about them being expansionist and treacherous, and that we keep an eye on them. What do they do that they clever warn me? This is actually really bad. Because I don't have the legions to spare to deal with them. And I imagine they're gonna dispatch full stack either to attack here or attack somewhere else. And I really don't want to deal with this. Whatever happens here, I'm probably gonna do it off camera because I really want to continue with Caesar and so forth. But this really breaks my balls. And here we go. The... Uh, German force have decided to come down the hills, or the mountains I should say, to attack Caesar's camp, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fight this battle, shall we? And here we have the, uh, well, Caesar's camp, and uh, we're gonna go over the defense I've made, so really there's three entrances, but I'm trying to bar it down so it's only two, and extended the area, by including this bit right here, which hopefully will hold. Um, I'm banking on the barbarians actually completely ignoring this, even though I mean they could be coming from that hill. I'm hoping they're not. Uh, I'm hoping they're coming through either this gate or this gate. So I'll set it up with traps all around to have them come through it. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with the hay bales because I mean. There's no way I can roll them down the hills close by, so I just place them there. Maybe what I'll do is... I'll have the skirmishers actually set them off just like a suicide thing as they get close. So the thing is, uh, why I did ex the extension here is because the catapults, I want them to actually be able to fire around this area. And from inside the fort, they couldn't really do that, so I extended it. Hopefully it holds. I'm going to have these barbarian units move towards the hill. Hopefully the, the enemy doesn't spawn here, because that... And I'll have to move the catapults in. The thing is, they're going to take so, so long time to break through this, and I can move the catapults away and just close this up. So it's not going to be that bad. Um, so that's also why I decided to use this side, because I can get in if I use this side. I can't get in with the catapult in case this, you know, goes topsy-turvy. So we're gonna have these moving up here, and hopefully, as the enemy, you know, either comes in... Come, they're coming from the hill, though. So I'm kind of hoping that they actually come from up here. Uh, or, like, all come from here. We can focus in on one side. We'll see, though. Uh, let's go ahead and start. I put the legions into defensive um, Testudo and keep this place to protect them. I will bend my every effort to this struggle and I know you will do the same. I will put Caesar we in the center. Hold. <laughs> so hopefully this will work fine. So right now the barbarians are coming in and we can see one unit is actually coming in from over there. And the other one's over there, so it seems to have worked out, kinda. But this plan's gonna work. I don't like the fact that the general there is moving towards here. I don't think he's gonna be able to break through. If he tries to charge here, he's gonna hit the wall. It's gonna take him quite a bit to actually get through, and he <laughs> has to ride straight through all these spikes. And then we do have archer towers that will shoot. Ballista. 
Okay, he's going kinda. No, you know what? The idiot decided to go. You know what? I'll go straight through the way where there's actually anti-horse hindrances. And I'll go that way to get inside. Oh, he's actually gonna ride into this wall, but not before he gets loads of spears in his face. Well, that goes that Germanic leader. <laughs> and he's just stuck there. What's that? Oh, one of them set on fire. Right, we have got a similar thing on this side. Your orders. Oh yeah, uh, catapults. It was supposed to fire flammable rounds. Just because a lot of things are happening at the same time here. Can I have you trying to ignite these? And I can have you trying to ignite these. And everything should be kind of fine. One of the things that we need to worry about and where I put my legions in defensive testudo is that we've got a lot of archer fire. There's a lot of archer fire coming in from the enemy. I hope to avoid. Set this thing on fire. Let's set this thing on fire. And yeah. Gonna have cavalry moving over here, ready to charge down the enemy. Oh, it actually rolls a little bit forward into that. Hoping they're not firing at Caesar because that would be a problem. Okay, here comes second unit. This one is the actual one I can hurt with the flaming balls, Ready for which did not happen. I kind of hurt the own unit, and the barbarian is going to try to get into the camp. Okay, why aren't you firing? I'll take personal command of this. Okay, a little bit to the side. Ooh, I'm going to hit the wall. Oh, and it's gonna bounce into my legion. No, no, no. Oh, I fired exactly the same area, but this time it worked. Now. Fire on that. God's sake, fire on this. And you guys set this thing on fire. How's the legion and uh, the cohort is doing just fine? Move out of the defensive to Studo and fight them proper. You guys are insane. I want... How hard is it? Oh shit. How hard is it to like fire into this mess here? you to just absolutely burn these bastards to a crisp. Okay, drop defensive to Studo. It's actually going into Malphi. I hope, hoping you can't get through here. Or you can. Romans, ready for duty. Quick march! Okay, set them all on fire. We've got archers out there that needs Horsemen. to be taken Riders care of. I never seem to be able to set these things on fire in time for them to actually be useful. Okay, I think we're gonna have to send another one forward. You know what? Throw your peeler though before that. Gonna send in another one there, and I think we're gonna have to do the same thing on this side. Though not the ones that are getting currently getting attacked. Right down those archers. This one is seemingly doing what I want, and we're getting some nice shots here. 
There's just so many barbarians. It would be nice if you could actually set fire to one of these pits. Oh, they did. Okay, throwing your shit. Forward into that, because that guy is losing tons of manpower. Do we have we have archers on that side as well? That's not what I'm supposed to do. Right, I'll move over here and see if we can get rid of these guys. By your command. And take personal control. That was, uh, was about to say a good shot, but it didn't bounce really through. That was a good shot. You can continue firing over there, that would be nice. That one was even better. Okay, that works fine. Let's see how's it going over there? I think we need to redraw this one, 64, and then Caesar will inspire this one, and then these are gonna ride away. I think we pretty clear on winning this side over here. We can smite them there. So I think we'll focus on this side. Because now my cavalry is here to ride down all the archers and get rid of them. And then there's not that many and that one unit has held pretty well here. And I'm gonna just send in Two more cohorts. Proud Roman told. Kill infantry ready. Yes, come on. Orders understood. Drop That's and me. throw spears. Oh shit! Did that one get completely? I didn't. How did I miss that? Ah oh, shit! Sons Hopefully that Mars. unit uh, survives though. Damn, how did I... How the hell did I miss that? Like a unit just snuck through that. I think my cavalry ran into some spearmen or something. Suddenly it quickly turned. For us. You know what? Send in this one as well. And you will not fire further in the back. Got lots of enemies retreating over there. Which I don't like. We need to kill them all. And the warriors to turn up over here. And we're gonna throw spears into this. And then a co coordinated attack with the um, with the cohorts to charge out at kind of the same time. We'll run down the enemy. Right, these spear levies. If you throw spears in the back of these guys, absolute massacre, I imagine. Do you have enough for another throw? Good. We hunger for blood and battle, warriors. That is what we want Power. from our uh, barbarians. Or maybe I ran. You know what? I ran into my own like. What's it called? Um, horse obstacles thingies. Okay, we're gonna coordinate this with these two. We'll be sitting here, and then all the cohorts here will make a push out. Get inspired and 
you will simultaneously attack them from the flank. Cavalry will, will make sure to run these retreating units down. Romans okay, we were finished here. Hopefully this one survives. It would be a, not very fun if that one is lost due to my mistake there. I don't know how the hell I could miss that unit being there. There's 13 men left. Hopefully that's enough. The cohorts and the barbarian allies are slowly defeating this army. See if we can see some cool kill moves here. That guy just get cut in half. And all gonna lose their heads. I think we need to revitalize the cohorts to go for the last unit there. And then I think we've won on this side. And Caesar will go take a closer look at this situation. Which is holding. We await orders for honor and glory. Romans ready for duty. Okay, you guys will go out there. And then we'll circle around and attack the enemy from the back. The cavalry will be stationed there ready to ride anyone that tries to get out. And this legion will hurry to get over here. We'll move the catapult. Just in case. Move them over there. I really hope I didn't lose the ballista. Because I don't know if I'll be able to recruit anything like that anytime soon. So that would be kind of a massive loss. If I lost that. German long swords made a little bit of a push there. Didn't really go their way. Making another one. I wonder if they uh, had word from the other army attacking the other side that didn't actually go that well. Legion loyalty presence. By your command. Fresh. Sons of Mars. These guys are faltering even before these have arrived. The barbarians will move to uh, cut off their retreat. While I actually order the cohorts immediately to charge. You know what? No, I think there is better if we cut this part off. Your orders. And now we'll send in even the small one. And we'll make a push from all sides. Simultaneously. And cut the barbarians apart. And they are within seconds, they're all routed just by this coordinated attack. But it's not over there. I don't want to see any of these barbarians ever again. Pushing them up against the wall. Quite a few are kind of being able to get away here. I don't think we'll bring everyone in through there. Not the Legatus though, because I don't want to ride through my own thing again. Right, infantry. Line up there. Legatus. You can ride through here and actually chase them down. I think the archer towers 
will do them a number and this cohort that actually didn't listen to me. And there we have it. We uh, cut them down. Caesar has won. The main thing though, not the main thing, the main thing is obviously that we won, but one of the big thing is we're gonna um, hopefully have destroyed them to the point where they're not gonna come back to haunt us again. And I think I have enough strength to pursue whatever lives beyond that. And also I really want to know if the ballista died or not. So let's go ahead and end this. Great victory. End the battle. Close victory though. I faced off almost 3 to 1 and I won and it still says close victory. I don't get this. And Caesar fights hard but it seems as though the armies are still intact even though you can see that a lot of units were completely destroyed. And no wonder the enemy deployed 7200 men lost 7,000. Did I say, I said 8,000, right? I didn't say 7. They lost more or less everything. Only a thousand men remain. We lost a lot too. The Ballista survived, that's good. A lot of good chevrons from a lot of these. This unit killed 500 men. 300 and so forth. Catapults and Ballista didn't do that much. Most down to the legions and then the horse running down quite a few. These guys weren't really particularly well used. These uh, killed or captured 30 and this one 4. But damn! Out of their army of 8,000 that came down the mountain, only a thousand were left. And if we look over here, there's uh, 4 units left. The commander died, and here we've got also only four units left. So only eight units left. So I can definitely pursue that next turn. And to gain favor with... Uh, ooh, release. I get lots of cash, though. Ah! Uh, but I kind of don't want to have any, any more Gallic tribes going against me. And I think it will be in my favor to kill these guys but damn that would that's half that's the cost of recruiting half a cohort that's good money we're gonna kill them though research complete trade concessions olives um, profitable export from my legates and supporters, wine and olives, to slake Gallic appetites. Mission failed. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to raise an army in my newly conquered region. That wasn't gonna happen. And look at that. It just in that end turn, we gained enough like reinforcements, so the uh, entire army is more or less back to where it was. So I can march through and slay all of them and hopefully get to here. And then Mark Anthony can march up and join me. A few stuff happened there, but that's really great. Um, this guy can hurry and go ahead and join uh, Caesar to train his troops. And then the Volocanti bastards. Um... Damn, they've gone admiral and stuff. They did what they did here is actually they sent two armies against me, Ready for orders. and we crushed both of them. But I'm worried about them going against, say, oh the, look at that, they've already sent the dude over here. So that's, I mean, I really wanted to capture this, but I don't want to be like putting up a fire here just to run over and put on a, a fire there without actually gaining anything. So I really want to take this out. What could happen is if I move with Caesar through here that they will refocus this army back here and then will free kind of this region up which I hope is happy enough 
for me to actually leave the region and send Mark Anthony to try and deal with these bastards in some kind of an effective way. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna use here. If there was something that actually, um, like, properly... You know, public order is probably good. But I would really want something that um, re would reduce uh, the upkeep cost, I guess, maybe, of the legions. Because look at that. My money is not doing well. Uh, even though we just enabled uh, extra trade with the other tribes. With the olives and me now being able to... Uh, sell olives to um, to the enemy and not to the enemy but to the Gaulic tribes ho oh, um, right with that said we're gonna end it right here and hopefully next time around we'll be able to march up to Tricum take that and then we'll see what we'll do with Mark Anthony hopefully we can kinda mm, crush these guys Looks like the Averni has taken over this tribe, so I don't have to worry about them, but I, uh, the Averni is getting very strong. So, this Legate... And... Is he... He's in within, within range, so if he moves at the same time as Mark Anthony comes in with the 13th... Could be enough manpower to slay this, and uh, if we slay this town... Which is like a proper town with a wall on it. That will be easy to hold and then we can march and take this. There's a lot of things to be thinking about. Um, the dignitary should be moving in here. So he can start hopefully switching the Celtic tribes over to Latin as soon as possible. But there we have it. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.